Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you 10 more Instagram worthy cafes that you should visit when you come to Seoul. Cafe Dior by Pierre Hermé in Apgujung Rodeo is probably the fanciest and most expensive cafe that I've be ever been to in my life. Let's be real, who do they think they are charging $20 for a cup of coffee? This cafe is located on the top floor of the Dior store in Apgujung Rodeo and it's a really fun place to visit just for the experience, but I don't think that I'll go back now that I've experienced it once. If you do visit, I would recommend going during the warmer months because there's an outdoor seating area which has these really cool umbrella tables that were closed when I went. So Pierre Hermé used to have some shops in Hyundai shopping malls in Seoul, but they pulled out a while back and after those Pierre Hermé stores closed, one of the pastry chefs stayed behind and decided to work for Café Dior serving Pierre Hermé desserts. And that's why it's called Café Dior by Pierre Hermé. Even though it was expensive, I really enjoyed this place. Passion 5 Bakery in Hanamdong is a bakery made of five components. A cafe, a bakery, a patisserie, a chocolate shop, and lastly, Passion from Passion 5's Patissiers. While the bakery has some really good looking breads, my favorite part of the shop is the patisserie. The cakes on display are just beautiful works of art that I probably wouldn't want to eat, just because they are so pretty. The selection of eclairs and tarts is also pretty amazing. This bakery is run by the same conglomerate that owns Paris Baguette, which I'm sure you guys have heard about, but there's a wider variety of desserts and pastries here. My favorite item from this bakery is not super pretty, but is it's insanely delicious. It's this Earl Grey chiffon cake, which is the lightest, airiest, fluffiest, most delicious cake that I've ever had in my life. Yongguso means laboratory in Korean, and this cafe is called Dessert Yongguso, so they do an excellent job of carrying out the laboratory theme throughout the cafe. And it's done in a really pretty photogenic way. The desserts are pretty much all some iteration of a cheesecake mousse, raspberry cheesecake mousse, cookies and cream cheesecake, etc. We also picked up a rainbow soda, which is basically a ramen and cream soda, but I wasn't a huge fan of the food and drinks here flavor-wise. I felt like the cheesecakes were overly sweet and I would have liked to have some dessert choices other than cheesecakes. Also the cream soda, while it was really pretty, it didn't taste very good. But if you're looking for something that's Instagram worthy, then you definitely want to check this place out. As you can see, the decor in the cafe is also on point. So another cafe you may want to visit is Miss Lee Cafe in In Sejong. And this is a quirky little cafe that has a vintage feel to it. You can buy old school Korean candy right in front of the door. And you can play some old school video games as well. It's decorated with all this memorabilia like Astro Boy and other little figurines. And throughout the cafe, you'll see love notes hanging from the walls and the ceiling. And you can actually write your own love note. Um, you can also write on the walls if you want to. The cafe actually provides paper and a pen and a little twisty tie so you can write your note and just add it to the decor. The special dish is this toshirak which is a Korean style lunchbox which contains kimchi, rice, a fried egg, seaweed, and some sausage. And you're supposed to shake it up, shake it, shake it, shake it, and then you open it up and everything's all mixed up like this and you can enjoy your food. Uh, other popular dishes include the pingsu, which is a shaved ice, and other traditional Korean snacks. Just down the street from Miss Lee Cafe, you can find the Poop Cafe, which is a poop themed cafe of all things. And, and while it might seem kind of gross, um, it's actually pretty tastefully done. I wasn't super grossed out by it, but they really go all out with the poop theme. They use old school Korean toilets as planters and you can buy these little poop charms and there's just urinals and toilets all over the place. They even make poop themed scones and they serve your food or your latte in a toilet cup. Would you guys drink your latte out of a toilet? I got a mint latte and it was actually quite good. And you can also buy these uh, poop shaped Korean pancakes called hotdog. They serve them on the first floor of the shopping center as well, in the ca as, well as in the cafe, and they're pretty good.
Billy Angel K Company is another very Instagram worthy cafe that you can find in Korea. It's a chain, so you can find multiple locations, but the one that I went to was in the Coax shopping mall inside of the Starfield Library. It's one of those cafes that feels really nice and fancy with white marble tables and the thing that caught my eye was this rainbow crepe cake. The reason that this was so amazing was because each color of the cake had a different flavor and it was a really distinct flavor. Usually when you get a rainbow cake, they just use food coloring to make each of the layers a different color but this um, had different flavors as well. We also got this rose mojito which is non-alcoholic obviously but it's this super pretty drink which has ombre colors and actual rose petals inside the bunny cafe in hongdae is less of a cafe and more of a place where you can just sit around and pet some really cute bunnies but they do serve some drinks I decided to come here because my daughter loves bunnies and I thought that she would have a blast uh, just petting the bunnies. The way that they decorated the cafe is really cute and super Instagram worthy with tons of pink, bunnies all over the place, and these black and white checkered floors. And they actually did it in the theme of Alice in Wonderland, sort of. And they also use these Molong keychains and Molong sticky notes so you can write a note on the wall and leave your mark. Everyone's supposed to wear an apron so that if the bunnies poop or pee on you, it doesn't get on your clothes too much. Also, I would recommend buying one or two baskets of bunny food, which consists of some carrot slices and leaves and sticks, surprisingly. If you want the bunnies to come up to you, you just have to offer them some food. Another cafe that I really liked was the Innisfree Green Cafe in Myeongdong. And this is located on the second floor of one of the Innisfree stores in Myeongdong. There are a ton of them, so I'll have to look it up on the map. But the food there is just really picture perfect and pretty, and so are the drinks. And I also thought it was pretty healthy and tasty. There's also a place where you can experience virtual reality in the cafe. The cafe is really spacious. There are two levels of seating and the decor is very natural and green and it's sort of a nice calm oasis among the hustle and bustle of Myeongdong. When we went, it wasn't busy at all and it just felt so calming and zen inside. I ordered a tangerine omija tea and a green pesto mozzarella salad, which came with this really cool black volcanic cake. We also ordered these fluffy Japanese style pancakes, and I found that they were a little bit on the eggy side, but they were still pretty good, especially with that big lump of whipped butter. If you like chocolate and mint, you will love Mint Heim in Hongdae. And this is a cafe that specializes in chocolate and mint desserts as well as drinks. So the coffee that I got was an Americano, but it had a splash of mint flavoring at the bottom. And while the dark green color was a little bit scary, it was actually really refreshing and good. It seems like they make all of their desserts in-house because in the back you can see boxes and boxes of Oreos and they have everything from cheesecake to cake to macaroons to whoopie pies to chocolate mint Chex Mix and all kinds of good stuff. The tables and chairs and walls are also painted mint green so they really went all out with the mint theme here and I thought it was well done and I really liked it a lot. If you guys love I Love Lucy, then you will enjoy visiting the I Love Lucy Pie Kitchen in Icheondong. And this is a little cafe that serves up all different kinds of pies and some drinks and coffees and cookies. And this is a really cute little vintage cafe that I thought I would check out because I used to watch a lot of I Love Lucy reruns as a child. 
And also you don't really see pies too often in Seoul, so I thought that we would just check it out. We ended up getting the blueberry cream cheese pie and the lemon meringue pie. And the blueberry cream cheese pie was really good, the lemon meringue pie not so much. In terms of drinks, we got the recommended tea which was um, vanilla iced tea and it ended up just being a C Obiglo tea which I was kind of disappointed about. But this place was fun to visit because it was just a cute, quirky little slice of Americana in Korea. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite and if you've ever been to any of these before. And also leave a comment if you have a cafe that you think I should visit. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!